Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at how to print a f um, information to a file. This is uh, part two of your video for chapter four. And right here, I already have it open and built for you here. You'll notice that up here, I have an import java.io because you're going to be receiving input from the user and uh, import java.util.scanner uh, actually that's from the user I'm sorry this is the IO which is going to be uh, an input and output for the file that we'll be creating now just as standard we have the class open and close the domain and uh, let's go through the first few lines of code here you notice they have a string for the input and scanner keyboard get system.in print a statement to the user to enter a string and we save that string and in input this you should already know we'll get to the new stuff right here first of all you have to create a file object called my uh, well I called it my file you can name it anything you want now my file is a object not an actual file it doesn't actually create the file it just creates a file object and I named that file output.txt and as you can see in the next line to create that file I have my file which is the file object I created and dot create new file now you notice that there is a red line underneath here now this red line means that there is a mistake and um, Eclipse has a great way of fixing it. If you just put your cursor over there, it notices that you have to add a throws declaration and that'll fix it. So let's go ahead and do that. And boom, right there. It uh, fixes it by adding a throws IO exception and fixes your file right away. Uh, it does some crazy formatting here. Weird. Okay. Anyway, sometimes when you click on it, I don't like the way it looks sometimes. <laughs> and uh, I fix it. Sometimes it annoys me. Okay, so now you create a new file. Now the file is actually created. So if you do a test to see if it actually exists, it will show up as a true statement. The next line we have here is called the print writer, which is what we use to write to the file. Now I created a print writer here and named it my writer and you notice that I put the where we're writing it to so the inside the parentheses I put my file which is the file we're going to be writing to in there okay so there we go we declared a print writer and it's open in my writer I have a dot when you type anything in my writer dot you notice that you have a lot of choices and if you type P and there we go you'll have print all kinds of print statements you do and just like the above line I hit the print line and in that print line I put the input that we got from that keyboard input and then I close the file which is very important you have to close the file otherwise if you don't close it nothing will show up in your output file uh, so go ahead and you close it here, mywriter.close, and everything should be working hunky-dory. So let's try it. Go ahead and run it. There. <clears throat> you notice it says down here, please enter a string. So I will. Hello, how are you? Right there, enter. And it terminated because I already entered a file and the job is done. So let's go ahead to my folder and I have the output file there in my workspace and the, uh, the print the file uh, project which is what I named it and, we'll put it and I have the statement hello how are you so pretty simple I hope this helps with your assignment Obviously, your assignment is a little bit more in-depth than what I showed you, but this will give you a basis to what to follow. And um, I will put more videos up as time.
time goes on. But for right now, part two should be able to be sufficient enough to complete your assignment and to give you a good knowledge of how to use the print writer and the file object. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and have a good day.